Hey guys, Dr. Matthew Hu here, and this is an exercise walkthrough that's gonna help with low back pain with gaming or if you sit for extended periods of time. When we do sit for long periods of time, what happens is we develop some stiffness, some weakness, some control issues that these exercises are going to address. They're also gonna be helping build up strength and endurance for the muscles in our back and our core that are gonna allow you to play more, hurt less. If you guys haven't already, Make sure you subscribe and let's get into this exercise walkthrough. This is the psoas stretch with arm lifts. You're going to be tightening your abdomen, propping your leg up on a chair as shown, bringing your hips forward until you feel it in the front of your right hip or the hip that's propped up onto the chair. Then you're gonna be reaching your arms up so that you can sensitize or increase the stretch for your psoas. Make sure you're gonna be doing this on both sides. This is the other side. Again, you're gonna be propping your leg up. You can use the backrest of the chair to provide a little more stability if it's a rotating chair like so. Tighten that abdomen before you bring your hip forward. Feel that stretch and then lift your arms up Again, to sensitize that stretch, and you're gonna repeat as many as you can throughout the 30 seconds. The next exercise is gonna be targeting the hamstrings and the psoas. It's gonna be a dynamic stretch that's gonna be accounting for stiffness associated with both the flexion and extension based sitting style. And what you're going to be doing is propping one foot on the chair, using the armrest for support if the armrests are available, arch your lower back and then lean forward, folding in your hips until you feel that stretch in your hamstrings. You're going to hold this for one to two seconds and then rock back into that forward lean position, arching your lower back until you feel it in your psoas or the front of your hips, holding that for one to two seconds and then repeating that cycle for the duration of the 30 seconds. You're going to be doing this on both sides if you're just starting out and you have a lot of stiffness you might notice that you're not able to bend this far or you're unable to maintain your lower back in that straight position that is okay we're just going to start at your baseline and gradually work up the next exercise is meant to provide some mobility for your spine specifically in the lower and mid back the goal is to allow some of the sliding joints and the spine in general to move more after extended sessions of prolonged sitting where it's not going to be moving. It's going to provide healthy stress to the joints and it can also help you develop awareness of the position of your lower back. What you're going to be doing is making sure your feet are flat on the ground, arms to your side, arching your lower back, bringing your chest up so you feel it in your lower back, your mid back, pushing as far as you can into this extension range and then rocking all the way back, rounding as far as you can, pushing as far as you can in this flexion range. And then you're going to be repeating over the duration of this one minute. This next exercise is meant to strengthen the muscles of your lower back as well as provide some endurance for the muscles that you repeatedly use to hold yourself up against gravity or maintain that upright body position. What you're going to be doing is making sure your feet are flat on the ground. You're gonna spread your knees apart to allow some space for your torso to come forward, place your hands behind your head, bring your elbows back so that it's in the plane of your body, then maintaining your lower back in this straight position, lean forward, and then bring it back up. And in the second part of this, you're gonna be holding for 30 seconds so that you can also develop some endurance for the lower back muscles. Then you're gonna be repeating it on the opposite side, starting with the active range of motion, then working again towards the hold for 30 seconds. So here again, you're gonna be starting with the active range of motion, making sure your lower back is straight the entire time. If you lose any of that lower back curvature as you're leaning forward, you wanna only bring it to the range where you're able to maintain it completely straight throughout the entire range of motion. 
And in the same way, when you're doing the hold, you wanna bring it all the way to a depth where you're able to maintain that lower back straight the entire time and the entire hold. During this exercise, it can also be helpful to brace your abdomen to allow you to have better control overall of the muscles of your lower back. The next exercise is called the posture prayer. This exercise is great because it helps improve your posture but also challenges your core to stabilize your lower back as you're lifting your arms up, actively stretching that lat. What you're gonna be doing is leaning forward slightly, bringing your elbows close together with your palms facing you, then reaching up forward in front of you, maintaining your lower back in this straight position, reaching all the way up overhead as far as you can. You should feel some tension in that lat of yours and then bringing it back down and squeezing between your shoulder blades, holding and then repeating for 30 seconds. The next exercise is gonna focus on strengthening your glutes, which are key in addressing low back pain as well as actively stretching your hamstring. What you're gonna be doing is standing up, turning your chair around, putting your hands on the back of the chair as shown, leaning forward, making sure your lower back stays straight, your pelvis doesn't open up, and then lift your leg up, keeping your knee straight into extension, feeling that squeeze in your butt three times, and you'll also feel a stretch in your opposite hamstring or the hamstring that's on the ground. Then you're gonna be repeating this on both sides. When you come up, you want to imagine that there's this plank from your head all the way down to your heels so that you're leaning forward and folding at your hips, feeling tension in your hamstring as you lean forward. Next, we're going to be continuing to work on your glutes as well as your core and challenging it by doing some arm lifts, especially if you still have stiffness in your lats. As you come down into the squat, you're gonna be lifting your arms up with your elbows straight, maintaining that brace in your stomach, trying to get to full depth, not allowing your lower back to round, and then coming back up, squeezing in your butt as you get to the top position, and then repeat. You're gonna be doing this for a full minute. Really feel your arms come up and extend all the way out as you are going down into the depth and then bringing it back up and squeezing into the glutes, holding for maybe one or two seconds at the top of every single squat. Again, you wanna make sure you're bracing the whole time so that we can work on the stability of your core. This is round two of the posture prayer and it is one of my favorite exercises because we are challenging core stability while also actively stretching our lats. And our lats often get stiff because we don't utilize our available range of motion very frequently as gamers sitting keeping our arms down next to our side. So again, perform for 30 seconds and make sure you maintain your lower back straight, maintain the brace of your abdomen throughout movement. The next exercise is gonna be working on your core strength as well as hip flexor endurance. Because if you don't have endurance, it can also stiffen up when you repeatedly use it in an extended or overarched position of your lower back. Start in the dip position and make sure your butt is off of the chair. Make sure your torso is completely straight, your lower back is straight, brace your abdomen and then lift one leg up at a time and then alternate, repeating as many times as possible within the 30 seconds. This is just round one. Next, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite stretches for the lower back for many of us to sit in that rounded, flexed, posteriorly pelvic tilted position. What you're gonna be doing is standing up, putting your hands on the edge of the chair as shown, then dropping your hips towards the seat until you feel a stretch in the lower back and then bring your mid back up. Look up to sensitize or get more of this extension-based stretch and then bring it all the way back away from the chair and repeat for the 30 seconds. This is round one and we're gonna be repeating these two exercises one more time. So starting again with the dip position marching. Make sure your butt is off the chair, tighten your abdomen and then lift one leg up at a time. Do it for the duration of that 30 seconds and repeat the final exercise, 
the chair extensions one more time all the way through it is your last one you did it your back is gonna thank you Here it is, this is the last 30 seconds of this exercise routine. Remember to bookmark this, save this, so you can always return to this, so you can do this on a regular basis to keep your lower back strong, to make sure you allow for some healthy mobility and motion of the spine throughout your days as a gamer sitting for extended periods of time, or if you're just a programmer, someone that sits very frequently in front of the computer, this is great for you. Thank you guys for finishing this up. That is all guys thank you so much for watching as usual if you are dealing with low back pain i always recommend that you seek out a local physical therapist they will be able to perform a full evaluation to identify all of the contributing factors to your low back pain so while exercise is definitely helpful and can help address a lot of these underlying issues you want to be able to see the bigger picture is it your posture your ergonomics your lifestyle how you train how you move that's contributing to your low back pain if you want, you can also reach out to us on Patreon or some of the links below in the description to help you with an individualized program or an assessment to identify what those factors are. If you want to start addressing your low back pain, you can start with these exercises and I would recommend that you start and perform them consistently for three to four weeks, either performing them in the morning or at night or both if you want to make progress a little more quickly. I would first work by doing the 10 minute routine once and then as you develop strength, as you develop the coordination and control to perform them, you can wrap it up to two times. So it's a 20 minute workout. And after you develop some baseline of endurance, you can taper it down to two to three times a week. Please let me know how it feels for you guys if you happen to try it. Share this with anyone you feel like it might be helpful for and don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. This is 1HP.